Good morning, Reunify family. Thanks for joining on the Global Family live stream this Wednesday morning. I'm going to tell you guys a little story, okay? So I was very lucky and fortunate to have been able to spend five, six months traveling on my own. I think it's been like two years ago now. And at the end of this trip, um, I went to now what is one of my favorite places in the world. If you know me, you know it. Sri Lanka. It was the last country I went to. And interesting enough, I had been traveling for so many months, and those of you guys who've traveled long, for long periods of time, you know by the end of it, like, there's, like, you're, the planner in you has completely disintegrated. There's, like, no more planning. You're just like, I'm just going to show up and see what happens. And so I showed up to Sri Lanka. I, my, my flight arrived at 1 in the morning. When I got off the plane, that's already kind of like an interesting situation to be in a country for the first time and have it be from the one in the morning. When I got off the plane, I went to exchange money and I opened my bag and realized that a fa like all my cash, $1,000 had been stolen from me. And it was crazy because I was kind of non-reactive. I don't know if it was just I was tired or delirious because it was one in the morning, but I was just like, all right, that's a thing. And then I just like <laughs> kept carrying on. I was like, all right, I guess I'm going to go to the a hostel now. I showed up to the hostel check-in at one in the morning. I'm like, okay, I knew I really didn't want to be in the city where I landed. I wanted to be in this small beach town. Someone had told me that there was an amazing surf app. So I went to sleep and then woke up in the morning. And the old me, actually, I guess the me now, the very Western influenced me, would have been like, okay, I need to have a plan of how I'm going to get to the beach town, right? I have to have the train schedule, bus schedule, whatever it is. I had none of that. I woke up and I was like, oh, I really want to be like at that beach place, but like, I wonder how I'm going to get there. And it's amazing to me to reflect back on how I had nothing planned and everything just perfectly aligned. The people who were at the hostel, I was like, they were trying to explain to me how to get to the bus stop. It was so complicated. They were like, you know what? Forget it. We'll drive you there. <laughs> and so they drove me to the bus stop. It was like multiple buses I had to take to get to the small town I wanted to get to. And so I took the first bus and I was like I have no idea where I'm supposed to get off and get on the next bus but there was zero part of me that had anxiety I was like what? I feel like I'll know when it's like where I'm supposed to get off and some guy kept making eye contact with me and I was like hmm, maybe he wants to like speak to me and he was like hello and he spoke perfect English and so then this guy ended up guiding me onto the next bus and eventually like there were all of these signposts along the way that led me to literally my most favorite place in the world it's a secret you'll have to reach out to me so I'll tell you and I'll tell you about that small town um, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because especially the way our culture influences us we feel like we need to have every step planned along the way we feel like you know how am I ever going to get to this you know like miracle destination or goal or whatever it is if I don't have a b c d e f g plan but the reality of the situation is is if you are meant to be there there will be little angels little signposts along the way guiding you there and if you're so obsessed with the plan that you miss them there's probably gonna be a whole lot of chaos and you might not even end up getting there if you're listening closely to the signposts you might even get to the place that's more ideal for you than what your plan thought you, what your plan thought you were gonna go so that's today's intention just let go of the attachment to the small, detailed, tiny little plans and open up to seeing the signposts that will lead you to your vision, whatever that might be. I think we can handle it in an hour. We definitely got this. We got this. <laughs> okay, breath work first. Kapalbhati, forceful exhales through the nose. Bastrika, forceful inhales and exhales. And then one round of Brahmari. What's all this? Other language I'm speaking in. Kapalbhati is forceful exhales through the nose. This is what it looks like. Belly pumps up and in every exhale. If you're newer to the practice, hands on the belly. Make sure it's pumping up and in. Bram Bastrika is forceful inhales and exhales. Inhales, belly expands. Exhales, belly contracts. If you're newer to the practice, hand on the belly. This is what it looks and sounds like. And then one round of Brahmari. So we'll completely exhale. We'll take a deep inhale through the nose. And then we'll cover our eyes with our index and middle fingers. And we'll plug our ears with our thumbs. And for the entirety of the exhale, we'll go mm, humming to the bottom and seeing all the pretty colors at the back of the eyelids. 
After just that one brambari, palms face up in the lap. I'll guide you through. Close your eyes. Bring your shoulders above your hips and your spine long. So in my story, it was a small surf town that I wanted to get to in Sri Lanka. Where do you envision yourself? And it can be quite metaphorical. It could be some kind of career aspirations, family goals. Could be that you want to travel to a tropical place. And just envisioning what that is, what that looks like. In these first moments, you can even add some detail to it. What you would look like in that role, what you would feel like. What kind of sounds, smells, sights there would be to it. And as you paint that picture, I want you to notice how your body feels. Realizing this experience within the body. Yeah, in the waking world, maybe when you open your eyes, you're not quite there. But even just envisioning it, you can create that feeling in the body. And then paying close attention to the breath. The breath will keep, keep you anchored in the present moment so you don't miss the signposts, the little angels guiding your way. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Seal the lips, inhale through the nose, fill the lungs halfway. Forceful exhales begin. <laughs> belly up and in, every exhale. If you're newer to this, remember, hand on the belly. The inhale is just a slight rebound to the exhale. All of your attention is on the forceful exhale. Last 10, five, four, three, two, complete exhale. Empty out, 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 hold empty. Feel the emptiness. Forceful inhales and exhales begin. Again, if you're newer to this, have a hand on the belly. Make sure the belly is expanding on your inhale, contracting on your exhale. This is very important. We don't want you hyperventilating in and out of the chest. Option to go as slow as you want. If you've already done this practice with me in person, challenge your pace. Pick up the speed. Last 10. Five, four, Three, two, complete exhale. Empty out, 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 out. Hold empty, relaxing the body. Just the one round of brahmari. Take a deep inhale, fill up. Belly, rib cage, chest. Hold to the top for a moment. Cover your, in, cover your eyes with your index and middle fingers. Plug your ears and hum to the bottom. face up in the lap. Bring your awareness to the center of the chest.
and the center of each palm, right and left. Can you choose in the next hour to focus your awareness on the breath, on the body, and use your mind as a tool to receive all of the data from the here and now, rather than judging, rather than escaping to the past or the future. Deep in your breath. You're uh, playing today's Spotify playlist on another device. You can go ahead and hit play now. Blink your eyes open. Roll over your shins. Bring your knees to hip width dis. Mm -mm. Bring your knees all the way all the way together. Inner thighs touch, and then come to standing on your shins. Reach the arms high. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Wrap your right arm underneath your left. You can give yourself a bear hug or take eagle arms, crossing elbows and wrists. Inhale. Hips forward. Squeeze your glutes. Draw the elbows up and away. Exhale. Drop your hips to your heels. Round through your upper back and tuck the chin. Inhale, press down through the shins, hips stack above knees, hips forward, elbows up and away. Exhale, hips drop to the heels, round through the upper back. Inhale, press down through the shins, elbows, forearms, up and away. Exhale, hips to heels, round through the upper back. Inhale, come up to standing on the shins, unravel your arms, interlace all ten fingers. Exhale, bend your elbows, palms to the back of the head. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, take the elbows wide, lean the head back, breathe into your upper chest. Keep squeezing your glutes, so squeeze the butt cheeks to encourage the hips forward. Lift the center of the chest up. Inhale, come back, shoulders above hips. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the right. Keep your low belly drawn in and bring your breath into your left side body. Reach the left elbow up and away from the left armpit. Inhale, come up through center, reach the arms high, releasing the grip of the fingers. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Sweep the right arm back and down, left arm forward. Pull your left hip back. Spread the fingers wide, look over your right thumb. Inhale, sweep both arms up through center. Exhale, left arm wraps underneath right. You can give yourself a bear hug, grabbing opposite shoulder blades, or you can take eagle arms. Squeeze your glutes, hips forward, elbows up and away. Deep inhale. Exhale, drop your hips to your heels, round through the elbows, back, round through the back body, elbows down. Inhale, press down to the shins, hips forward, elbows up and away. Exhale, hips back, round through the upper back. Again, inhale, standing on the shins, elbows lift. Exhale, sit back, round. Inhale, come up to standing on the shins, unravel the arms, interlacing all ten fingers. Exhale, bend your elbows, palms to the back of the head. Back bend, inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, lean the head back. You should be active in your back body. Press through the shins, squeeze the glutes, lift the heart up, reach the elbows apart. Inhale, bring shoulders above hips. Exhale, dip the left elbow to the left. Lengthen up and out of both side bodies and then find a deeper lateral bend. Breathe into your right side. Keep pressing through both shins.
Inhale, up through center, reach both arms high, releasing the grip of the fingers. Exhale, open arm, twist to the left. Sweep the left arm down and back, reach the arms out, look over your left thumb. Notice if the right hip is sneaking forward, pull it back. Steady breath. Inhale up through center, reach both arms high. Exhale, bring the hands down to the ground and step your knees back so you can take a tabletop shape. Hands above shoulders, hips above knees. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, cat, round through the back body, tuck the chin. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, hips to the right, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, hips to the left, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, center, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, ashtang pranayam, bend your elbows back, lower your chest and your chin down to the mat, hips are high. Inhale, cobra pose, slide your chest forward and your legs back. Press through the tops of the feet, hover the hands, press through the front of the pelvis, lengthen both sides of the neck. Take an inhale. Exhale, press into the palms, cat back and then hips back to the heels. Cat back and then hips back to the heels. Inhale, shift forward to a tabletop. Exhale, cat pose, round through the back body, tuck the chin. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, hips to the right, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, hips to the left, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, center, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, ashtang pranayam, lower your chest and chin. Inhale, cobra pose, slide the chest forward and the legs back, lift the heart up. Exhale through a cat pose, hips back to the heels. Press the palms down, round through the upper back, hips all the way back. One more time. Inhale, shift forward to a tabletop. Exhale, cat pose, round through the back body, tuck the chin. Inhale, cow, belly drops, shoulder blades roll down and back. Exhale, cat, round through the back body, tuck the chin. Inhale, neutral spine, shoulders shift forward. Exhale, ashtang pranayam, bend the elbows back, lower your chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, cobra pose, slide the chest forward and the legs back, heart lifts. Exhale, press the palms down, round through the back body, hips back towards the heels. Inhale, shift forward to a tabletop. Exhale, step back to a high plank. Finger spread wide, feet hip width distant apart. Press into the hands, press into the balls of the feet. Feel length in your spine. Crown of the head reaching forward, breath steady. Nice, building some heat. Witten wondering, why does this present moment serve me, right? When we get in those uncomfortable ones, we tend to forget, yeah, this is serving me too. This too is a signpost. Take an inhale. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press into the palms, external rotation of the shoulders. Lengthen, hips up and back. Crown down and forward. Heels root towards the mat. It's okay to take a slight bend in the knees if you feel a rounding in your low back. Connect deeply to your breath. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step up, feet together, big toe edges touch. Inhale, halfway lift, elongate your spine. Exhale, bow forward, belly to thighs, chest to shins, crown to ground. Inhale, rise up to standing, Urdhva Hastasana. Legs straight, reach the arms up and overhead. Squeeze your inner thighs, pressing through the center of the heels. Fan the toes out. Knit the inner edges of the rib cage towards one another. Lengthen your arms as much as you can. Then interlace all 10 fingers and turn your palms to face up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, hips forward, lift the heart up, take the arms back. Exhale, bend the knees, weight in the heels, round through your upper back and tuck your chin. Inhale, straighten the legs, hips forward, arms up and back. Exhale, bend the knees, weight in the heels, press the palms down and forward, rounding through your upper back. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms up and back. 
Exhale, bend the knees, palms down and forward. Inhale, come up to standing. Turn the palms to face each other and then take steeple mudra grip. Interlacing all 10, release the index fingers, cross the thumbs. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, hips to the left, take it over to the right. Breathe through your left side body, squeezing the inner thighs. Deep in the posture from breath to breath. Really taking in all parts of the present moment. The things that you're celebrating, the things that the mind is judging. Witnessing the mind being the judge. Take it all in from outer to inner. It's all there for you to witness. Without attachment, of course. Inhale up through center, lengthening. Exhale, hips to the right. Take it over to the left. Keep your arms active. You're squeezing the heels of the palms together. If you can bring your biceps in a plane behind the ears, do it. Hips are pressing to the right. Breathe to the, into the right side body. Oh, sweet patience, huh? Rather than wondering when you're coming out, decide to dive in. Decide to see it as your new circumstance and find full acceptance. Inhale up through center, lengthen. Exhale, chair pose, prayer palms to heart center. Bend both knees, weight in the heels. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. If you can't quite get the elbow to the outside of the thigh, you can place it between the two thighs. Press your palms into each other. Look over your right shoulder. Pull the left hip back. So if you look down, the knees are on the same line. If you're a little more advanced in your practice, option to extend the arms. Deepen your twist at the bottom of your exhale. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bow forward. Release the arms down. It might feel a little cozier to heel toe the feet to hip width distant apart. Bend the knees so the belly is supported by the thighs and relax your head and neck down. You can even place opposite pinkies and opposite elbow creases. Allow for decompression in your spine. Top center of the head releases to the ground. Exhale, release your arms down. Heel toe the feet back to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Fingertips up your shins. Lengthen your legs. Lengthen your spine. Exhale to bow forward. Inhale, rise up to standing. Interlace all 10 fingers. Palms face up. Exhale, bend the knees. Palms down and forward. Round through the upper back. Inhale, straighten the legs. Hips forward. Arms up and back. Exhale, bend the knees. Round forward. Inhale, straighten the legs. Arms up and back. Exhale, bend the knees. Round forward. Inhale, straighten the legs, steeple mudra grip, palms face each other, index fingers release. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, through center. Exhale, chair pose, prayer palms to heart center. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Right elbow can be to the outside of the left thigh or it can just be placed between the two thighs. Pulling right hip back. If you did so on the other side, option to extend both arms, gazing over the left shoulder. Breathe. Bringing the spine out.
Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Heel toe your feet back to hip width distant apart. Option to take the same passive bend. Knees bent, grabbing opposite elbows. If you'd like to take Parahastasana, slide your hands underneath the feet. Toes kiss the wrists. Inhale, lifting the chest up. Exhale, bending the elbows out, relaxing the crown and head of the, the crown down towards the ground. If you're a little more flexible, you can begin to send the hips high, legs straightening. Release your hands from underneath your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips up the shins, leg long, legs long, spine long. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Breathe here. Patience. Connected to breath even when things feel a little bit like a struggle. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg up and back, hips are level, right pinky toes pointing down. Exhale, draw your right knee to your nose, tiger pose, round through the back body, tuck the chin. Breathe here, carve out space underneath the chest, feel the core active and strong. Inhale, look to the top of the mat, exhale, step up. Option to drop your left knee down if you'd like a little bit more of a supported practice. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. If you're choosing to have the back knee lifted, lift your back heel as high as you can. Bend your right knee so right knee is stacked over right ankle. Take an inhale, arms high. Exhale, release your arms down, interlace your fingers at your low back. Inhale, lift the center of the chest up. Exhale, external rotation of the shoulders. Draw your knuckles along your back leg. As the knuckles draw back, re maintain a lift in the heart space. So picture that diagonal line of energy. Heart space going up and forward, knuckles going down and back. You want equal forces between the two. If anything, a little bit more of a pull with the heart space. Breathe here. Every step along your path, a step towards fulfilling your dharma, a step towards your purpose in this life. If you could just see it as that, if you could stop expecting it to look like something different and really take everything in about this moment. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, palms meet. Exhale, hands down to frame your right foot. Pyramid stance, back foot at a 45 degree angle. Encourage right hip back, left hip forward. Front knee stays bent. Inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. So a common mistake is having the left toes point out to the side. Make sure they're at a diagonal, mostly pointing forward. Right hip back, left hip forward, squeezing the inner thighs. Notice if you're jutting the rib cage out, draw the low belly in, lengthen through the arms, and just take a few moments of breath, breathing into the foundation here. Feeling the strength in both legs, the sturdiness through the feet. Deep inhale. Exhale, wrap your left arm underneath your right. You can give yourself a bear hug or take eagle arms. Inhale, elbows up and away. Exhale, bow forward, forearms to the inside of the right knee. Pull the right hip back. Relax your head and neck down. Breathe into your upper back. Can you feel that at the bottom of your exhale, there's this extra bit of surrender in the head and neck? Yes, keep pressing through the back foot. Core is engaged, inhale, rise up, unraveling the arms, warrior one. Exhale, sweep the arms back, airplane arms. Begin to shift your weight into your right foot. 
engage your core. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Press off the right foot. Left knee bends up to hip side. Flex the left foot. If you're looking for more of an intense practice, extend the left leg. Deep inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Reaching in opposites, full expression. You're looking over the back shoulder. Inhale up through center. Exhale, left foot down, fold all the way forward. Prayer palms through the midline. Listen closely. Inhale, halfway lift with the chest. Exhale, extend your right leg straight back at hips height. For a standing half split, really lengthen your spine, dialing your right hip down, and then fold over the left leg, breathing in the belly of the left hamstring. Your right heel does not need to lift higher than hips height. This is perfect, but... You know, for those of us who are hyper flexible out there, you can take the right heel higher as long as you're really engaged through the right leg. Lift your chest and bring your right hand to your right hip. Begin to stack your right hip on top of your left. So that means the right toes point to the side wall. Front of the pelvis faces that same side wall. Take an inhale here. Exhale, warrior two stance. Bend your left knee, land the right foot back. So if you were to draw a line from left heel to the back of the mat, it would intersect your right arch. Now windmill the arms up and open. Virabhadrasana two. You can straighten and bend the front knee. Back leg is straight and active. Make sure the left knee is pointing in the trajectory of the left pinky toe. How is that happening? An external rotation of your front hip. Inhale, Viparita Virabhadrasana, reverse warrior, left arm up and back. You can slide your right arm down your back leg, or if you want to take a half bind, you can wrap right forearm to low back, using the right hand to pull your left hip into external rotation. Breathe through the left side body. Sinking lower in the hips with every exhale. You want front knee stacked over front ankle, so you can always adjust the distance of your stance to get it there. Take a deep inhale through your left side. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes. Inhale, step your left foot back to meet your right in a high plank. And then rotate to the pinky edge side of your left foot as you exhale. Inhale, right arm high, Vashistasana, side plank. Reach your right arm up and overhead so the right side body's lengthening. Breathe. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, right palm down. Inhale, step your feet hip width distant apart. Exhale, drop the knees down to the mat. Root down through your right palm. Inhale, your left arm high. Exhale, Parshva Balasana. Thread your left arm underneath your right armpit. Come, bring the left shoulder all the way down to the ground. Press into your right palm. Lift your head up. Look up towards the ceiling. Slide the left arm further through. Lay the head back down. You can extend your right arm in front of you. You can wrap your right forearm to your low back. You can tuck the right toes and lift the right knee. Right toes and right knee. Yeah, so tuck the right toes. Yeah. <laughs> and you can also hover the right leg if you have a balance with the right knee lifted. Breathe. Pressing in the back of the left hand. If your right foot's hovering, exhale, bring the right knee back down. Right hand underneath right shoulder, root the palm down. Inhale, left arm high, opening up into that twist. Exhale, left hand down to the mat. Inhale, step back to a high plank, Falakasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, your left leg high, hips are level. 
Exhale, draw your left knee into your nose, round through your back body to up your chin. Back body, open, front body, engage. Feel that in this exact same moment, you can have this juxtaposition of experience. What a beautiful thing. Where's your focus? Right? You could focus on the core engagement. You could focus on the back body open. You, you can focus on the struggle. What are you deciding? Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Option to drop the back knee down if you'd like. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Arms up and overhead. Press through left heel, left hip back. Lift the right heel as high as you can if you're choosing to have back knee lifted. Engage your core. Lengthen the arms to lengthen the side bodies. Deep inhale. Exhale, sweep your arms back, awkward interlace of the fingers at the low back. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, draw the knuckles along the back leg. Remember, equal and opposing forces. Heart lifts, knuckles back. Breathe into it. Taking it deeper and deeper with every round of breath. Even if the body's not actually shifting, I mean deepening your awareness of what's happening right now. This exact step along your path. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead, palms meet. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot. Warrior one stance, back foot at a 45 degree angle, front knee stays bent, inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Pull the left hip back, engage your core, reach through the arms. The idea is to get the front knee stacked over the front ankle. If it's a little bit behind it, it's okay, you just don't want it the knee coming in front of the ankle. Press through the back heel, and that means right glute is engaged. Arms reach, deep inhale. Exhale, eagle arms, right arm underneath left or bear hug if you'd like. Inhale, elbows up and away. Exhale, bow forward, shoulders, elbows to the inside of the left knee. Continuously pull left hip back, right hip down and forward. I really love Hatha because it takes you through all the layers of your being. First, you're witnessing the physical. You're witnessing what this pose offers your physical body. Then if you kind of tie the breath in there, like, ooh, how does it affect my breath? And you can dive deeper and deeper. How is it affecting my mental state, my emotional state, making it a inner and outer awareness practice? I mean, what if we were living our lives like that? Every moment, every interaction. A feast for the senses. Press down through the feet, inhale, rise up, reach your arms up and overhead. Unraveling the arms, exhale, sweep your arms back, airplane arms, shift your weight into your left foot, press down through the left heel, inhale, rise up, one-legged Tadasana, right knee bends up to hips height. Flex your right foot, engage your core. Option to extend the right leg for those of you who are looking more for a little more tapas, a little more heat. Deep inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Sweep the right arm down and back and your left arm forward. Keep the right foot active, the left foot pressing down. Full expression, you're looking over the back shoulder. What's happening in your mind and with your breath now that you're standing on one leg? We all have our one leg situations in life. Those situations that kind of take our breath away and make us feel a little fearful. Can you create awareness around what those situations are so you can use this practice amongst them? Inhale up through center, one leg at Tadasana. Exhale, right foot down, fold all the way forward. Listen closely, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward, plant your palms and step your, extend your left leg straight back at hips height. 
You can use another inhale to lengthen your spine if you'd like, and then really fold over their standing leg. Pressing through right heel, pressing out of left heel, breathe into the belly of the right hamstring. Inhale, halfway lift in the chest. Exhale, left hand to left hip. Use your inhale to begin to stack left hip on top of right. Opening up the chest, the front of the pelvis to the side wall, and then bend your right knee and land your left foot back. Warrior two stance. Heel to arch alignment, windmill the arms up and open. Vira Badrasana two. Left leg is straight and active. Parabandha in both feet. The arches of the feet are active and lifted. Reach the arms out. Drop the back hip slightly. Find fullness to the breath. Inhale, Viparita Virabhadrasana. Right arm up and back, lengthening the right side body. Option to just take your left arm along your back leg. Option to wrap left forearm to low back. If you are going to use this bind, make it functional. Bring your left hand to the right hip. Pull the right hip into external rotation. Exhale, sink the hips low. Inhales, reach the right arm up and away from the hip crease. Take an inhale through your side body. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame the front foot. Tuck your left toes. Inhale, step the right foot back, feet together in a high plank. Exhale, rotate to the pinky edge side of the right foot, and then inhale your left arm high. Lift the hips. Of course, there's always the option to take the bottom knee down. And then reach your left arm up and overhead, lengthening the side body. Breathe. Breathe. Take an inhale, exhale, left palm down, high plank. Inhale, feet hip width distant apart. Exhale, drop the knees down. Root to the left palm, inhale, your right arm high. Exhale, right arm threads underneath left armpit. Press with the left palm, lift your head up, look up towards the ceiling, deepening the twist, slide your right arm further through, and then lay your head back down. Option to extend your left arm. Option to wrap your left forearm at your low back. If you're like, man, I'm just getting in the groove of the heat and you want to add some heat to this, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, press through the back of the right hand, option to hover the left leg. Breathe. Feel the rib cage, the chest expand and contract with breath. If things feel like a struggle now, rather than pining for the future, can you just invite that feeling within the body? That feeling we create in our meditation, like say you had everything you wanted right now, what's that like in full embodiment? Know that that's the power of the mind. You can use it, use it as a tool to bring yourself that feeling right here and now. Total contentment. Deep inhale, those of you who are hovering the left knee, exhale, drop it down. Left hand underneath left shoulder, press into the palm, inhale, right arm high, opening up to a twist. Exhale, right hand down to the mat. Step back to a high plank on your inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, step the right foot through to a low lunge. Pyramid stance, back foot at a 45 degree angle, lift the chest halfway, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward. Just taking a few deep breaths here. Press firmly through both feet.
And then inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, walk both hands over to the right side of the right leg. Walk both hands over to the right side of the right leg. Pull your right hip back. Feel the left side body, right IT band open. Relax the head and neck. Breathe. Choosing a feeling of contentment displays that trust in all that is. And when you're constantly giving your mind, your body, that feedback loop of I trust, I trust the process, your external world is going to reflect that internal reality. And you'll be provided for. I mean, I can talk about it all I want, but you just have to experience it yourself, you know? Walk your hands back to frame the right foot, left hand underneath left shoulder. Inhale your right arm high, Paribhrita Trikonasana. You can always bring a block or a stack of books underneath your left hand. If you're a little more advanced in your practice, you can move your left hand so the pinky edge side of the palm is parallel to the pinky edge side of the right foot. This makes the posture a lot more intense. Breathe. Take another inhale across your chest. Exhale, right, both hands down to frame the right foot. Slight bend to the right knee. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale again, extend your right heel straight back at hip height. This time, see if you can do it without bringing right hand to right hip. Inhale, right arm high, Ardha Chandrasana. If you want something a little more intense, cover the left hand for floating half moon. Flex your right foot. Breathe. Take an inhale, exhale, warrior two stance, land lightly, bend the left knee, land the pinky edge side of the right foot down. Inhale, straighten both legs, bring the palms to meet up and overhead. Exhale, reach the arms out to shoulder height. Now drop your right hip slightly. Slide the right arm along the right leg or you can bind your right forearm at your low back. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and back. Parita Trikonasana. Press through both feet, squeeze the inner thighs. Reach through the left fingertips. Breathe. Look at all the wide open spaces. Like you can focus on the parts of the body that feel tight, that feel worked, or you can look at all the wide open spaces. Shift your perspective. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes. Inhale, step the left foot back, high plank. Exhale, drop both knees down to the ground. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, cat, round through the back body, tuck the chin. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, hips to the right, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, hips to the left, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, center, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, ashtang pranayam, lower your chest and chin. Inhale, cobra pose, slide the legs back, lift the heart up. Exhale, through a cat pose, press the palms down, round through the back body, hips back to the heels. Inhale, shift forward, tabletop. Exhale, step back, high plank. Inhale in your high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, use core control, step the left foot through to a low lunge. Pyramid stance, shorten your stance. Back foot at a 45 degree angle, front leg straight, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Breathe into the belly of the left hamstring. Pressing through both feet. This is our last standing series. You got it. Inhale, lift the chest slightly. Exhale, walk both hands over to the left side of the left leg. Pull the left hip back, right side body open, left TFL, IT band. Relax the head and neck. You're still trying to lift the arches of the feet as high as you can. 
and notice what happens to the legs when you do that. Feeling your feet on the ground so that you can remember to do this with each step that you take. Walk your hands back to frame the left foot. Root through the right palm. Inhale your left arm high. Paribrita Trikonasana. For more advanced right pinky edge to, of the hand to the outer edge of the left foot. Encourage right hip down and forward, left arm high, full expression. Look up at the left hand. Breathe. Take an inhale across the chest. Exhale, left hand down, slight bend to the left knee. Step the right foot forward, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, extend your left leg straight back at heel height. Instead of bringing the left hand to the left hip, see if you can go straight to open. Inhale, left arm high, stacking left hip on top of right. Roll the shoulder blades down and back, flex your left foot. Maybe hover the right hand. Steady the breath. Breathe. Life on one leg needs breath too. Take an inhale. Exhale, warrior two stance. Inhale, straighten both legs. Bring the palms to meet overhead. Exhale, reach your arms out to parallel. Inhale, reverse triangle. Drop the left arm. Reach the right arm up and overhead. Press through the feet. Squeeze the inner thighs. How much length? and space can you create from the top of the right foot to the right fingertips. Zip the midline up and in, take a deep inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame your right foot, low lunge, inhale, step the right foot back, high plank. Exhale, drop down to the knees. Come up to standing on both knees. Ustrasana, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Bring your hands to support your low back. Fingertips point down. Squeeze your glutes, your butt cheeks. Encourage the hips forward. Lift the belly button to the chest, the chest to the chin, and then take your gaze back. It's okay if you only lean back an inch. The, your main focus on, is on lifting the center of the heart space up. If you can keep your hips stacked above the heels, then your hips stacked above the knees, then you can grab for your heels with your hands. Know your body, don't push it. Breathing here, lifting the heart space up, up, up. Y'all know my favorite Michael Singer quote, right? Nothing's worth closing your heart over. Not even a heart opener. <laughs> I know this one can be a struggle for a lot of us, me too. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, shoulders above hips. Sit back on the heels. Slide your hands down your thighs and around through your back body for a moment. Come to a neutral spine. Turn around and lay down on your back. Ooh, yeah. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Gather your knees into your chest. You can cactus your arms or reach the arms out to a T. Drop the knees over to the left and the gaze to the right for supine twist. If there's any other variation of supine twist you want to take, you can. Right shoulder blade stays rooted even if the knees don't touch the ground. Feel the breath move through the spine.
your both knees into your chest. You can give them a squeeze between the sides if you'd like. And then drop both knees to the right and gaze to the left. We have moved our spine in all of its available directions today. Forward fold, back bend, side body opener, twist. Maybe just a little moment of gratitude here for the spinal column and all of its capabilities. We have all these ideas about what we want to carry out in the world, and these ideas start from the mind. But it's this vessel, this physical vessel of the body that allows us to carry them out. So let's keep it healthy. Let's appreciate it and love on it. Draw the knees back into the chest. And then extend your legs out and down in front of you, your arms up and overhead. I want you to see if you can keep the left side of your body relaxed and then reach through the right foot and reach through the right arm. Try to keep the left side of your body relaxed and reach through the right foot and the right arm. Reach, reach, reach. Breathe into all that length, that activeness. Reach, reach, reach. Take an inhale. Exhale, relax everything. And then inhale, reach to the left arm, left leg. Right body's relaxed. Reach, left arm, left leg. Press through the heel or the ball of the foot. Reach through the left fingertips. Breathe. Reach, 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 reach. And then exhale, release everything. And then inhale, release. Reach through both arms, both legs. Everything lengthens. You can pull the low back off the mat. Lengthen, reach, lengthen, reach. Deep inhale. Exhale, gather your knees into your chest and bring your forehead to meet your knees. Before you squeeze, take a deep inhale here. Fill the belly, rib cage, chest up, and then hold at the top and squeeze everything in. Squeeze the toes, the inner thighs, the arms, the face. Feel the dense energy in the body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release, Shavasana. Turn to natural breathing. Allow everything in the body to relax and relax. Toes, legs, hips, belly, chest, arms, hands, face. What if every, each and every moment was a gift designed just for you to experience? If you really knew that in your heart space, would you rush to the next thing? Would you fast forward to your future accomplishments? Or could you open your eyes to the here and now and see all the little signposts, angels, gifts, and surprises sprinkled along the way.
into the quality of your breath. Feel into what it is to be alive in a human experience, in a body. And then if you really like time, bring some little movements back. You know you can, you know how you want to reawaken, do you? If you want some guidance, sometimes I like to tap my fingertips to my palms. Feeling into the joints in each and every finger. I like to explore the space between the toes by wiggling them. You could turn the head side to side. You could bend the knees and drop the knees side to side. And then inhale, full body stretch, legs long, arms up and overhead. Exhale, knees into your chest, roll to your right side in a fetal position. Give a little thank you to your path and your process. However treacherous for the mind, the path may have seemed. <laughs> Press up into a seat. Pray your palms to your heart. Anjali Mudra. Yep, we're all in different places, but I want us to own all together now. Your dog won't mind. Take a deep inhale, Tom. Um. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for 